Hi, and welcome to Stamp with Jenny. Today I'm going to share with you how I made this fall treat tent using the Falling for Leaves stamp set in our Brush of Color Crystals. So let me set this aside and we'll get started. To make the tent, you're going to start with a piece of Mary Merlot cardstock that measures four and a quarter by 11 inches. I am going to set my cardstock with the long edge against the top of the ruler, and I am going to score at the one inch mark, the five and a half inch mark, and the 10 inch mark, and then I'm ready to set this aside. At this point, I'm going to take my pretty label punch, and I am going to slide it in on that folded edge. And I'm going to take it up to this little scallop area here and line it up and center it on my cardstock and then punch. And that's going to give me my little opening for the cello bag to come through. So at this point, I'm ready to decorate. I'm going to start with this shimmering white cardstock. This piece measures four and a quarter by three inches. And I'm going to be using my Brush O Color Crystals and some water here. So I've got the water on my paper and I am ready to sprinkle some of the orange and some yellow and I'm just doing that lightly on the one side and then I'm going to reactivate those crystals again with a little more water and I'm going to set this aside so it can dry. Okay once it's dry I can take my Mary Melo ink pad and ink up my leaf. I like to do the leaf first because then it lets me know how much space I have left. And I'm going to put this at an angle in the top corner of the cardstock. And of course, you know for your photopolymers, you want to count to three. And using the firm foam pad underneath is helpful also for better images. So there we go. We've got the leaf. And now I am going to stamp the sentiment down here in the bottom right hand corner. Two, three and my panel is finished. So I'm ready to bring my tent back in and I'm going to lay it on my grid paper with this finished focal point to the side here so that I kind of have a judgment as to where to put the glimmer paper. And I'm using the copper glimmer paper that's simply gorgeous from the holiday catalog along with my multi-purpose glue. And I'm using the multi-purpose glue because with the glimmer paper you want to make sure that you have lots of gripping power. So I'm going to lay that down about there on the bottom. It's about a quarter inch from the bottom. And I'm going to add the top piece of glimmer paper right about here. And that's about um, three quarters of an inch down from the top. And I'm judging that based on the fact that I want about a quarter of an inch of the glimmer paper to show. Make sure it's on there straight. You can use your glimmer, your grid paper to make sure you've got things lined up. And then I'm going to add my focal point here by adding some more multi-purpose adhesive and setting that on top. Now after your brush o dries, you, you want to make sure that you remove the excess powder so that you don't end up wearing it and smearing it against your project. You can blow it off or tap it off. Okay, I'm going to let that sit and adhere, and I'll show you the next step with the treat bag. I've taken one of our 3x6 gusseted cello bags and I've added a few pieces of chocolate to it, including a caramel apple chocolate. I chose these because of their color, and I am going to take this and slide it through my tent, the top hole here, and kind of gather it. And I actually find one of our little clothespins wonderful to hold this together so that it's easier for me to do the ribbon, which is the next step. And I'm going to take a piece of our Tea Room Combo Pack. It's a very vanilla ribbon with a beautiful copper edging, which pulls out the copper glimmer here. And I am going to tie that in a knot and then tie my bow. And I'm ready to trim. There we go. And at this point I can take my clip off and I can fluff this the way I want so that it looks pretty and straighten my bow and play with it a little bit. Now for the bottom. I am going to make sure I know which side is the front because we want a nice clean edge um, showing on the front of our treat. So I am going to flip this over and I am going to add a couple of pieces of tear and tape 
here on the back flap. It's a nice strong adhesive that's easy to work with and I know it's going to hold my treat together. And I'm going to remove those little protective covers and fold on the score line. And then I am going to slide this into the back, line up my edges and press down and burnish it with my fingers. There you go. It's that quick and easy. Let me show you the original again. If you'd like any of these products, feel free to stop by my online store. You can get there from my blog, Stamp with Ginny. Thanks for joining me.